Welcome to season two. Subukan natin ng istoryahan ng mga mga non-integers. Anong non-integer? A non-integer is a number that represents a part of a whole. O halimbawa, ano ni siya? Hindi ni siya papel. Integer ni siya. Integer. Ari, ano ni? Non-integer ni siya. Integer. Non-integer. Bali, ang non-integer part of a whole. Parte siya sa kabilugan. Dama mga non-integer na aton pero may ginagamit. Example, mga fraction, pareho sang one-half, o kung four-thirds. Mga decimal, pareho sang 0.75 or 75 hundredths, kag 6.9 or 6 and 9 tenths. Percentages naman, mayara ito sa mga 50%, kag 125%. Sa subong, ang nga itong natutukan ang mga fractions. Okay. Fraction. A fraction is a non-integer that says how many equal parts of a whole are taken. Example, 3 fourths. 3 ang atong nga numerator, kag 4 ang atong nga denominator. The numerator is the number of equal parts taken from the whole. For example, ang muna yung atong na whole. Pwede na siya nga, hindi lang na siya circle. Pwede man apat na bagay, kung apat na gamit. Alin sa apat nga ni, tatlo ang atong na ginkuha. Ang muna siya ang atong na numerator. The number of equal parts taken from the whole. Ang aton nga man nga denominator, nagahambal kung kapilata tungaon ang aton nga whole. So, ari nga aton nga whole, gintunga ta siya into four equal parts. Halin sa apat nga equal parts, nagkwa kita tatlo. Three parts out of four. Three fourths. Ining linya sa tunga sa three and four, sa tunga sa numerator kag denominator, ang mga aton ginatawag nga fraction bar. Kagamoy na siya kung paan magbasa sa fractions. Kapag totoo, fact yun. Kung kalahati na, fraction. Sige. Equivalent fractions. Fractions which have different numerators and denominators that represent the same value. Example ba? Ine, isa rin siya ka-fraction. Dua ka-equal parts. Kag-isa ang ginkuha. One part out of two total parts. Meaning, ini siya. Ano guys, sa kito? One half. One part is taken from two equal parts. Ang ini naman nga fraction, we have four equal parts And two parts were taken, meaning two out of four, two fourths. Kung atun tanawo ng dua ng fraction, one half is an equivalent fraction to two fourths because one half is the same as two fourths. They represent the same value, half of the total. Another example. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six equal parts in total, and two parts were taken. Meaning, this one, this fraction is two sixths. Two parts taken out of six equal parts. This one, man, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve equal parts. And one, two, three, four parts are taken, meaning this one is four twelfths or four over twelve. This one, two sixths and four twelfths, we can simplify them by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. 
In the case of 2 over 6 or 2 sixths, we have to look for a number that can divide both 2 and 6. What can divide 2 and 6? We have 2. So 2 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2 will give us 2 divided by 2, that is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 4 over 12. We have to look for a number that can both divide 4 and 12. 4 and 12 are both divisible by 4. So divide by 4, divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. And 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Both of them are equal to 1 third when simplified. That's why they are called equivalent fractions. Try to simplify the 2 here. 1 half is already simplified. 2 fourths can still be simplified. We look for a number that can divide 2 and 4. That is 2. So 2 divided by 2 and 4 divided by 2. This one is equal to 2 divided by 2, that is 1. And 4 divided by 2, that is 2. The simplified form is 1 half. 1 half is the same as 1 half. Therefore, we also say that 1 half and 2 fourths are equivalent fractions. Yeah! <laughs>